there was a student of mine who chatted me one night and asked me, Brother, you know, I'm beginning to doubt if God exists. Does God really exist? Then I asked him, What are you using to chat me? My cell phone, brother, he told me. Then who created your cell phone? Those who created this, the people who created my phone. Okay. Are you in the house? Yes, brother. Does your house exist? Yes, brother, it exists. And then I asked him, Then who created your house? The engineer's brother. Hmm, okay, I see. Now, does the world exist? I asked him. Then he told me, Yes, brother, it exists. And then I asked the question, Then who created the world? And then he became silent. I think he's thinking. And then I told him, Let, it, let us do it this way. Who, uh, do you exist? And then he told me, Yes, brother, I exist. And then, who created you? I asked him. My parents. Who created your parents? My grandparents. Who created your grandparents? My grand-grand-grandparents. And then who created? And so on and so forth. And then I told him, You know, if I will ask you this, you will just end up with the first man and woman in the world. But the question is, Who created the first man and woman in the world? Can they just simply exist on their own? Because if they exist on their own, then we can also exist on our own without our parents. Because we are the same with the first man and woman in the world. They are human beings and we are also human beings. But we know that it is not the case. We are created by our parents. And therefore, they must also be created by someone, not a human person, not a human being but someone who is greater or above the human being, who is God. You know, dear young people, if you begin to doubt God's existence, you just need to go out and see the world around you and begin to ask the question, who created this? It could not just be any ordinary human being because if that's the case then we should have already so many universe that we created who created everything it must be someone who caused everything who is the supreme cause of everything who is God God exists